फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द ब्रॉडकास्ट बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट अपडेट के साथ स्वागत है आप सभी का तो फ्रेंड्स uh, यहाँ पे डियर पेंशनर फ्रेंड्स ऑल द पेंशनर्स वर ईगरली वेटिंग फॉर सम डायरेक्शन ऑन द पेंशनर्स इशूज ऑफ एक्सग्रेशिया ऑल्सो इट वॉज नाइदर आर डिमांड नॉर एनी प्रोविजन ऑफ सच एक्सग्रेशिया इन अवर पेंशन रेगुलेशन बट इट वॉज मैंशन इन द माउ दैट एक्सग्रेशिया विल नॉट इफेक्ट अवर डिमांड ऑफ ऑपरेशन ऑन द लाइन्स of reserve bank of india so again on 30th february 2024 the final bipartite settlement was not signed and left undecided for indefinite period so now the union say that they will not sign the bps till five day banking is not decided so a few days before it was told by union that government has cleared the demand but now it is said that it is still being discussed so after all what is the factual position for not signing that 12th bps nobody knows the actual reason so our pensioners say that the stay petition filed by shri basant bankude ji has blocked their path to sign so the next tentative date for hearing in supreme court in mc singla case is 1st march 24 so we cannot say whether the date will be further postponed or not Only we can hope and wait till first March. Friends, every time the union plays with our sentiments, they are not having any consideration for their financial condition, for their financial conditions of the pensioners. Now we would understand that the United Form of Bank Union is not a strong position to get the five-day banking for their members. Then what they will do for the pensioners? C H B. and his stooges every time prove that they are not honest to pensioners demand so in future we should not look forward them so it is our misfortune that uh, that we had to fight for justified demand and united form of bank union iba and government so chv uh, so actually it is the responsibility of banks to take decisions as per the pension regulation 1995 so they should understand that the pension issue does not fall within the purview of bp nego- negotiations the banks are committing a financial crime by denying and delaying pension updation so i sent here with a note written by me explaining why pension issue cannot be discussed or negotiated in bipartite talks between iba and united form of bank union for your knowledge only honorable supreme court will decide the matter which may be on 1st march or some other day so this is uh, being written by mr mesh bathija ji pensioner of esbbj state bank of bikaner and jaipur rules of pension updation so unki taraf se jo likha gaya hai pension rules cannot be discussed in bipartite negotiation because pension is governed under a subordinate act named as pension regulations 1995 and which cannot be amended by negotiations between two unauthorization organizations so usi ka ye pura note unhone diya hai dosto aap yahan pe dekh sakte hain kafi lengthy points hain but kafi achhi uh, points yahan pe likhe gaye hain so it provides as to how the funds have to be maintained to ensure monthly payment of pension and if funds found short to pay monthly pension banks are required to provide more funds out of their profit and this exercise is required by end of every financial year and it is statutory liability of the banks to adhere to regulation 